After months of failed negotiations to pass a new stimulus plan to provide relief to the millions of Americans impacted by COVID-19, House Democrats are working on a new proposal that will cost around $2.4 trillion. This proposal is another attempt to pass a second relief plan, following the Coronavirus Aid, Relief, and Economic Security CARES Act passed by Congress with overwhelming bipartisan support and signed into law by President Trump on March 27, 2020. Since then, negotiations have continued to fail, leaving Americans frustrated and wondering if they will see any more coronavirus assistance. The latest of these attempts was introduced last week by the Problem Solvers Caucus, a bipartisan group of about 50 centrist Democrats and Republican lawmakers. Led by Democratic Josh Gothheimer of New Jersey and Republican Tom Reed of New York, it was quickly dismissed by House Speaker Nancy Pelosi as not providing enough support. The latest proposal Democrats are drafting comes after Pelosi stated that the House would not leave for the November elections without a new stimulus deal. We are committed to staying here until we have an agreement that meets the needs of the American people, she promised on a CNBC interview last week. But is this even possible, and could this latest proposal be the one that will actually stick? Lawmakers are becoming increasingly frustrated with the inability for the parties to reach an agreement and pressure is mounting from both sides to broker a deal. Several issues stand in the way of an agreement. Stimulus package price The $2.4 trillion price tag is less expensive than their existing plan, but could still be too high for Republicans to agree on as it's still considerably more expensive than the latest Republican Senate plan of $500 billion. The bill would include enhanced unemployment insurance, direct payments to Americans, paycheck protection program small business loan funding and aid to airlines, among other provisions, according to a person familiar with the plan. Death of Supreme Court Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg adding to the turmoil in Washington, and the doubt both parties can reach a compromise is the death of Supreme Court Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg due to complications of metastatic pancreas cancer. Ginsburg's passing immediately sparked a battle over filling her seat on the Supreme Court, with the Republican-led Senate wanting to quickly approve a Trump pick, possibly before the election, and Democrats desire to stop it in the hopes that Biden will win. The fight is not only diverting attention from a proposal, but also further dividing Washington. November 3 election The inability of Washington to compromise on a package, and the complications by the current Supreme Court battle alone make a deal look unlikely.